Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 12, heat conduction and thermal expansion. So in this video, we are going to discuss exercise 1, 12.1 heat conduction. Okay, so exercise 1, a major source of the heat loss from the house in a cold climate is through the windows. Calculate the rate of the heat flow through the glass window. If let's say they give you the windows, the width is 2 meter and the length is 1.5 meter in the area and 3.2 millimeter thick. If the temperature at the inner and outer surface is 15 degrees Celsius and 14 degrees Celsius respectively. Okay, so uh, for questions number one, uh, please add the conductivity K because the question is not given K. So you please add on the thermal conductivity K equals to 0 0.8. Okay, so we want to find the rate of heat flow, rate of heat transfer. They give you the area and also they give you the thickness. Okay, so we can write dq over dt is equal to negative ka dt over dx where k is 0 0.8 and the area is 2 times 1.5 meter. Okay, and the change of the temperature we will take t final where t final is actually 14 because our heat transfer is from hot transfer to cold or low temperature okay so we the initial the temperature initial is 15 and temperature final is 14 okay so we will take t final minus t initial over the thickness 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 okay so if we calculate we will get for 750 joule per second or you can write it as 750 watt. Questions number two. One end probably isolated copper rod. Okay, so isolated is important, meaning that the temperature gradient is constant and the length is 20 cm. The cross sectional area is 2 cm square. It's maintained at a constant temperature 100 degrees Celsius. Well, the other end is is in zero degrees Celsius. Okay, if the rod is in steady state, determine the the first one. We want to find the temperature gradient. So the temperature gradient is dt over dx. Okay, so usually we will take t final minus t initial over the thickness. Okay, where initial we have one hundred, final is zero degree. So final is 0 minus 100 degrees Celsius and the thickness is given 20 cm. So it's 0 0.2. Okay, so we will get negative 500 degree Celsius per meter. Okay, if we sketch the graph where uh, the temperature versus the, the thickness where here is 100 degrees Celsius and this is 0 degrees Celsius and this is the gradient temperature which is equal to negative 500 per degree Celsius, degree Celsius per meter. Okay. So we know that because the questions already mentioned is isolated so therefore we will get a linear graph. Okay. B. Find the temperature at 0.4 cm from the hot end of the rod. Okay, so initially here is equals to 20 cm. Okay, let's say at 4 cm, what is the temperature? Uh, temperature gradient is the same along the graph. So we can write dt over dx is equal to t final minus t initial over the thickness. Okay, so since the gradient, the temperature gradient are same along the road. So I will substitute negative 500 equals to t final is the value that we want to find and t initial of course is equals to 100 and the thickness is 4 cm eh? so it's 0 0.04 okay so the final temperature at the point at 4 cm is equal to 80 degree celsius okay next one we want to find the rate of the heat flow through the rod 
Okay, so the rate of heat flow is equal to dQ over dt and is also equal to negative Ka dt over dx. Okay, so we substitute K is the thermal conductivity, 380, and the area is given just now, 2 cm squared. Okay, so we need to convert 2 cm power of uh, negative 4, and the uh, temperature gradient is equal to negative 500. Okay, so the rate of heat transfer we will get is equal to 38 joule per second, or you can write it in watt. Okay, that's all for this video. Please click on the next video for questions number 3 and questions number 4. Thank you. See you on next video. Bye.